Sure. Zhanglad played 10 matches, 12 wickets. Uh, economy rate is a bit of a worry for everybody around, but he's got the talent. Can bowl Yorkers. I only hope that he gets it right today. Bowls in the right areas. All he needs is a couple of wickets, and the skipper has given him two slips straight away. Good policy. Well, I hope he bowls fast and gets the ball to swing away. There's the two slips. They've got the third man down. And the fine leg up, inter interestingly for me, back deep backward square. So that stops him from bowling any surprise short one because the top edge will go down to fine leg for four or six. So Imran Nazir knows he's going to pitch up. Right smack bang in the middle of the bat. How's that for a shot? Sign off uh, a man in form. Look at that. Back foot, middle of the bat. A couple of feet here and there would have been a boundary, but uh, must have uh, been a relief for Abunachi. This is the kind of start a bowler wants, a dot ball. Bang on target. In the air. It could be out. It, please catch it. No, he's dropped it. Did all the hard work there. Stewie Binney, the culprit. Disaster. Imran Nazir was uh, a dead duck. Stuart Binney couldn't judge it. He reached the ball, but uh, what did he do? Had plenty of time. It's never easy when you're running back, but uh, didn't judge the ball at all. Well, he would have had sore hands from yesterday's training. He'll have some, some sore hands tomorrow. In the air, catch that! No one bounced. Chance to hit the stumps and misses. Almost everything is happening here. End of the over, one, six runs for no loss. Big Nesh, oh, that's a, oh, that's a shocking delivery. We know he likes to bowl the in-swingers, but, oh, he got it so wrong there. Well, that's the in-swinger. What do you say about that? I felt sorry for the keeper there. Even if he had a 10-foot-long arm, he wouldn't have got a hand at it. Oh, he got a little glove on it. What a good effort there for Khalil. In dangerous territory, you are so right. One bounce. Abdul Razak. Easy pickings. The ball was swinging in. Uh, he was uh, shaping up for this shot. But uh, the length was the problem here for Vignesh. Inside out over point. Happy birthday to Abdul Razak. The way he's bowling is giving birthday presents everywhere here. It, honestly, it's one Jeffrey Boycott would say it's buffet bowling. Again, bowling in the wrong areas. Uh, they should have looked at the wagon wheel of Abdul Razak's last knot. And this is the kind of homework a bowler should do. That's his uh, bread and butter shot, just over off stump, you know. So you've got to bowl him a three-quarter length, the ball uh, coming into his thighs. I told you the mid-wicket boundary is a problem, and there it goes. He dropped it short in desperation, and he's just smashed it away. Now, Satish has got problems here. He really has. Inzaman Ulhak is probably thinking, oh, I won't get a hit tonight. Yeah, I think totally taking him apart. Uh, Big Nash has lost it. You can see in his run-up, you can see he's in his uh, follow-through that he has got no confidence. So Abdul Razak uh, really mauling him right now. Yeah, he's worried about the big swing. Sometimes it's okay to bowl around the wicket, but you've got, still got to get the, the lengths right. Learn from Kluzner and these guys. They bowl at full and just outside off stump. Hard to hit. Mind you, bit of width, might go away from foot. Oh, good chase. Great chase. Brilliant. And running in pairs. Oh, chance for a run out if he could throw. No, it isn't. But the intensity was there from the ICL Indian team. Well, still not over for Vignesh. Uh, ah, good to see a smile on the skipper's face. So look at this face. Look at this effort. It's not just that he has saved the run, but uh, this kind of effort in... Uh, this situation will lift the team and Vignesh needs more confidence. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh, look, he's unlucky there, Abu Nensham. 
He's whipped that from off stump. It could have been LBW. This is where the keeper's got to walk up to the captain and say, look, that was a good ball there. He, that's just 2020 cricket. They did nothing wrong at all. A big smiles in the Pakistani dugout. The captain and the coach uh, very happy, but uh, Imran Nazir lives dangerously. This one was uh, shaping nicely, but uh, got a connection. If he would have missed it, it would have been IBW. There you go. Again, not timing it right, not middling it, but uh, getting runs. The pace of Abu Nachim uh, bothering uh, Imran Nazir, but the luck is favoring the brave and they're living dangerously. Outside edge, and that'll run away for four. Or is it wide? It's wide. I tell you, nothing going right for the Indian ICL 11. Tiru Kumaran, I've hardly seen him bowl uh, wide, uh, but uh, the pressure getting to him, uh, I think this pressure of Imran Nazir's bat. Khalil tried his best. They had a slip in place as well, but uh, four runs. Outside uh, edge, and got a wicket! It's amazing when you bowl on and length, things go your way. Well done, Tiru. Well, he's been rewarded again, and he has got that knack. I was telling uh, the same thing. Uh, he will pick up with his first bad ball, going for five wides. But look at this. That swing, that cut. Abdul Razak uh, is not very comfortable playing on the leg side. So an easy catch. There you go. It's a good comeback. Tero Kumaran, you are the star. 42 for one, ICL Pakistanis. Abdul Razak departing for 17. There he is, and that strike rate of 127. That will be a no ball. Oh, we got away. No, we didn't. There's a late call. Ramo Martinez looking to the square leg. The other umpire being David Brandon. And confirmed this was a bouncer. Anything over the head. And of course, if that was Joel Garner, who's six foot ten, that would have gone over his head. Yeah, this was uh, quite short. Good call by the umpire. That's a pretty good shot, too. Just back of a length. He's just trying him out on the back shoe. I thought they, they would have watched the game last night. The world tried it on Imran Nazir. Nearly got him out, but then he got the confidence flowing. Oh, I think this is a bad idea. You cannot bowl shot to Imran Nazir. You're better off uh, bowling him full and hope that the ball will swing. He will miss it. it. And he'll hit you straight down the ground if you're too far up. Yeah, you know, I was just going to say that uh, he likes advancing down the pitch every so often and uh, just sizing Kumran up there and thinking, well, he's not seen too many dangers here. Comes down the pitch, gets the hands through the ball, and one bounce for four. Lovely shot. Well, it's friendly pace on a good pitch. Yeah, and the keepers, uh, I, I would have, at Kumran's pace, you'd, you'd prefer him to be up. I think that's a, he bowls well with the keeper up. It, it cuts down that option. And we've just seen the, the keeper come up. Oh, he's got him. Don't think there's too much of a doubt about that. The third umpire has been consulted. Farhad followed one that looked pretty wide and, as you said, Chris, didn't turn. Looked like it might have, but didn't. And yeah. let's see if he's got back home. Mm, that's close. No, not a chance. I think the bat was in the air. Yeah, was, my, my decision would be out here. Just up in the air. Man, Fahad. It was quite wide. It's a great piece of work. Well, it's pending, but he's out. He's out. We kind of figured that would be the case. Good work from Ibrahim Khalil. Imran Farhat doesn't get going tonight. And we have another look at that. Widish delivery reached for it. Nowhere in the vicinity of that one, and Khalil did a nice piece of work. 
So Iman Farhat only contributes six tonight. Pakistan, Pakistani team, 55 for two. Tafik uh, was opening at one point before Abdul Razak was given that job. Not as attacking as Imran Nazir, but a more solid looking opener. This is the wicket of Imran Farhat. And uh, Khalil, great piece of work. They had to go quite wide, and I think everybody knew. And that's gone for four. Imran Nazir. Gee, that's a good shot. Nothing wrong, really, with the delivery. Saeed Muhammad looking to not try and give any width, but this time is it just giving himself a fraction of room by just clearing his left leg. Delightfully played. That's it hard, it's in the air. Will it carry the boundary? Yes, it will. Six to Imran Nazir. I was absolutely convinced that he'd sliced that one, miss hit. And it just kept going and going. That's quite a sizable hit coming down towards us here in the commentary position. And Imran Nazir, that just shows the strength. And earlier in the show, we were talking about how fast his hands are through the ball. He really launches into it. When he's committed to the stroke, he really goes through with it. In the air. Now, this could be out. Could be out. Oh, well caught. Well caught. Guess who's got another wicket? Stuart Binney. Steve Rickson is still holding his face in his hand. No expression of joy there, but there's a lot of celebration in this big crowd here today. Stuart Binney in his first over and strikes a blow immediately. Taufi Kumar trying to clear long off. And that's Satish, the captain. Tofik goes for 10 and it's 84 for 3. The Indian ICL team has clawed back into this match somewhat after the blazing start. 50 in the first five overs, they are 85 in the 12th. Three wickets down, a couple of wickets here, and this game could swing dramatically. Any more spinners. So, you are right that uh, I think we should have one more spinner in the side because the pitch is very much uh, turning, and uh, that is why I think we are just uh, lacking one, for one spinner in the team. Also, uh, keep in mind that what the actual requirements of the players, you know. So I always go with the players, whatever they feel like. So I usually, uh, usually do that thing. Another magnificent boundary batting. Always be wary of the injured batsman, Imran Nazir. Another boundary to him. We've been so impressed, Mong, but with Shahid Nazir. He's been just a wonderful find. Well, we've just lost Mo in there, just wanted to jot down a couple of notes here. Mataza should have stopped that, I don't know what happened to him. And because of that effort in the in the field, the captain said, right, then you come to the... In the ring, we'll send someone else out there who can stop it. Fair enough too, sometimes you have to make an example of them. You have to stop them at this level. Four more. There's the hundred up. Who would believe this man is injured? Look at that square cut. Position, power, timing, everything there. Imran Nazir in superb form again. Well, that was the slower, slower ball. 10 off the over, 14 overs bowled. It's 102 for three. Whoa, did he get a nick on that? Oh, I heard something, he's walked. The great man's walked. Syed Muhammad will dream when he retires and 
20 years time that he's got the great Inzaman all huck out. Let's watch this dismissal again. Syed Mohammed gets one to drift away from Inzi. Inzi is going for the square cut and that's a very good catch by Ibrahim Khalil. How impressive he has been, Dino. Well, he has. Jeffrey Dijon, he's out of his seat. He couldn't believe what a wonderful take that was. And a great catch too. Just when you thought the OCL Pakistani team would put the foot down, but the great man goes. He's gone for seven. It's 102 for four. Down the ground. Going. Going. Gone. Just. Just. What a catch that would have been for Jun Jun. Well, that's his 50. But he's took a left-handed specky, but unfortunately went over the rope. He didn't get all of it. The Pakistani flags are high, but what an effort there from Jun Jun Waller. Imran Nazir, 4.50 in the ICL. He's been in wonderful form. Hitting, he's injured. Who would believe that, Dino? Oh, and he gets it away through backward point. Just a, a shade short. Oh, good effort. Great effort. The intensity, Mataza. And a great throw. We'll have to go to the third umpire, but what a wonderful exhibition of fielding on the rope there. That's a replay of the catch. Abhishek Junjunwala on the fence. Takes it one-handed. And that's the stop by Ali Murtaza. Oh, I think that might be declared a four. Oh, he's gone. He's got him. Imran Nazir, well, he signaled his intention. Once he got to 50, he started to really go at it. And this is a good piece of cricket. He's gone down the wicket, missed. Beautiful take from Khalil. And no chance to get back. Good bowling, good wicket keeping. So the fifth Pakistani wicket has gone down. Imran Nazir, man in form, goes for 56. It's 116 for five. Coming in, Fahad, wicket keeper, wicket keeper batsman, but two new batters at the crease here. So ICL India, an opportunity to try and stem the flow, perhaps in the next two overs, and then hang on. And I think from here, if they can keep, I'll just leave the dismissal. Khalil, great piece of work. Imran, Nazir, hitting the ball well. Ever since he had that injury to the groin, he was pretty much throwing the bat at everything. Well, that's out of here. No question about that. Cross hauled and well over mid wicket. Yeah, I saw Raza score 90 at Penchkula earlier in the series. Fantastic knock. And just take a look. Iron up the onside, into position early. Taza fired it in there on a length. Raza launching it. Magnificent strike. Huge hit. Bold him. Ali Murtaza picks up his second wicket. Hassan Raza bold with a full delivery. Yeah, and good to see Murtaza learning from the previous side where he bowled length and he was deposited out of the stadium. This time, full into the block hole, Raza trying to play that shot that he favours, trying to carve it through point. Taza knows that that is a big wicket. Raza, a big strike of the ball. He's gone for 12. It's 136 for six. Rana Navid, hard hitting batsman. Look at that strike rate. Lee. He's not facing up right now. It's Umayyan. 
There's a hesitation. He could be a run out. He could be gone. He is. Confusion leads to a run out. Confusion. I've got absolutely no idea what's going on. And if you take a look at the batters out in the middle, they're arguing with each other with regards to what was meant to happen there. But at this stage in the innings, you hit the ball. Sure, Benny got to it quickly, but there was always a run there. Brown and Naveed watching the ball, not looking at his partner, not trusting the call. And Mimian ran down to the non-strikers end, ran back again and nearly made it. Easy one there. So he's gone now for nine, and it's 137 for seven. Straight down the ground. This should be cut off. They're coming back for two. If it hits the stumps, he could be out. And he's been given. I've not even consulted the third umpire. Mohamed Sami caught short of his ground. A direct hit. Beautiful piece of fielding. Pick up, balance, throw. From Vignesh. And bang. Not even in the picture. Yeah, we had a great view of the throw from down here, and it was never missing. Nash. Superb piece. Athleticism. And Mohamed Sami. He departs. I see our Pakistanis. 139 for eight. Slow delivery, and not slow enough. Out of here. Yeah, Shaheen is here showing that whilst being one of the top bowlers, if not the top bowler in this ICL competition, capable of big striking. And just on the length, going through with the shot. Tremendous strike. Well, the 150 is up for ICL Pakistani. Last delivery. That's it through long off. They'll get too easily. And end their innings at 152 for eight. 13 coming off that last over. Steve Rickson making his notes. He won't be happy.